music that I've released and, and people that have listened to it. It's been so encouraging when someone actually takes the time to reach out and say like, that song, you know, someone once said to me they had to pull over their car because they were crying, you know, when they heard it on, on Radio 1. And it was just like, like, stuff like that is crazy to hear, you know, that's a lot to receive and it's good and it's encouraging. I'm Josh Record, this is my breakdown session of For Your Love. I started with piano and then um, I think my dad might have bought it actually from like a jumble sale, like a guitar with just the top two strings. That's what I thought, kind of thought a guitar had, so I just started playing with two strings. So a lot of my songs only use those strings anyway. Almost by not having lessons and not having that kind of training um, has definitely helped me because the way I approach a song is just from a feeling or an emotion. It's nice the discovery of like a new chord or you'll play something accidentally and you'll be like, oh that's awesome. So for love, so for love. I wrote For Your Love about love and commitment. There was a lot of bad stuff going on in my relationship, but I wanted to commit to let her know that kind of my love was enough, do you know what I mean? And it would cover everything that is going on. There's definitely sentiment there, but there's also kind of a bit of a darkness and a bit of a weirdness to it as well. I was living in, in a house with, with nine people in a four bedroom house and, and I was freezing, we didn't have heat in. And I just thought, you know what, let me turn on the computer and, and you know, because I produce as well. I had the piano there in front of me and I just started doing it. It just came very naturally and used a lot of my demo, the original stuff which I recorded in this tiny little room because there was a realness to it. Normally, I would sit there with a the guitar and, you know, probably a glass of whiskey, the lights off, and, and, and sort of pour out whatever I need to say. If there's someone else sitting there or standing there, it just kind of feels odd that they're in my world for that moment, because I want to feel at home, I want to feel relaxed. And you're performing live, you're feeding off the crowd, and you're, you know, you're feeding off like, what, what they're doing. To be honest, I prefer the studio, I prefer the intimacy of it, I prefer the mood that you can set, you're totally in control. There's no formula of how to get into the music industry. If you have written a song and you like it, you've got to just move forward with it, go with it, and never do it for a record deal, or, you know, never do it for that, just do it because you love it. What people take away from my music would probably differ from like a live show to a song that they've actually bought. I want people to connect and I want people to understand, you know, the lyrics, that some of the things which I've gone through or been through, whatever it might be, that they can actually connect to that as well. I hope there's something that hits you kind of like here rather than just sort of the music and the, the ears and stuff. Like, hopefully it's nice musically as well.